Wow, tough break for Polish Thunder. Daryl, who's been such a big part of this community for so long now, as has the man who's jumping up here in the bird's nest to join me. It is Duckworth, Lars, but we know you as Duckworth in this community. Yes. Welcome. Great to have you here. We just saw you racing as a proxy after racing yourself yesterday. Unfortunately, it looks like your, your tournament has come to an end. My tournament came to an end. Yeah, my models didn't like it here. I don't know why. <laughs> I need to go home and figure that out. Uh, but, but yes, it's really great fun to be here. It's, it's wonderful to see all the people and, and to meet all the ones that I've been virtually you know, working with for the last two years and a half. So it's wonderful to be here. Jarek on the track right now. We got to know you a lot virtually through Deep Racer TV, going back a couple of seasons when you made your great run uh, through, the, through the tournament bracket. <laughs> Came so close, as I'm sure you're, you hate to be reminded. But uh, that said, your era of Deep Racer has pr predominantly been the virtual era. Now to have everyone getting back together here this season, and especially here at reInvent, how special has it been? It is something completely different because you know, the real world racing does not match the virtual, virtual world, right? So this is where I also need to spend time now figuring out, okay, what, what does it take to create a, a real world racer? Because that's just something else. Whereas a virtual racer, you can put it on, let it cook for a week, you know, four workers in parallels, so you do like 50,000 episodes. That doesn't work when you put it on on Unreal Track. So that's where I need uh, probably to go home and find a way also to get some more track time to really try out models to find out what works, what doesn't work, um, how to train it, what's the action space looking like because a virtual league action space does not work for a, for a physical car. So that's the things you need to learn how to do. Now, you've spent a lot of time, if I'm not mistaken, this year in particular studying the car, learning about the physical limitations of the car to help you when it comes to coding for the real world, right? That's what I tried, right? So I thought, like, okay, so what are the differences? I read the code both from the simulator and, and, and from the real car. And I did a lot of experiments. I tried out-of-the-box thinking, but it just ended up out of the box in the end. So it didn't help me. But I think some of those things are still, you know, relevant. A big development here just a moment ago. Jarek now has had two laps down in the 16-second range. That is quick enough to advance. That most recent one, 16.136, would be good enough for fifth fastest here so far. Assuming those times stand, what I think that means then is that leading AI has been knocked out by virtue of that lap. Now, Duckworth, you could tell us probably better than anyone because you've been racing against these folks, the level of talent in the field this year. You've been in multiple championship finals, but this year, is this the strongest field we've had? It's getting harder and harder every year, right, to, to qualify, to get past. You know, there's virtual leagues. I, I think I won in the end in, in July. Yeah. But, you know, it's been fighting in the third, the fourth, no, fourth and fifth places all through season. It was difficult to qualify. So, And even if you're... Yeah, this this month I was fourth. Then next year, next month it will be third, and then it'll be fine. And then somebody else comes, right? So there's always a refresh of new talent. So you need to be on the ball all the time, and and, and to, to to qualify. So next year, probably even more difficult. Who do you have your eye on here, the rest of the way? Is there anyone that stands out? I think the J.P. Morgan Chase folks. They have had a track. I think having had a track, yeah. and, and, and you know, while it's not maybe this track, but still a track, I think that makes for a big difference. And and Debro is always good for a surprise. You know, he <laughs> he's got a lot of models. So, yeah, let's see. I think it will be either or. Last thing for you, what keeps you coming back? You've been a big part of this community for years now. It seems like you're there every month, uh, competing in one way, shape, or form or another. What is it about Deep Racer that has you hooked? The competitiveness is one thing. Learning new technologies is another one. So, you know, I've learned things through this, like the RoboMaker or Ross and Gazebo, SageMaker, machine learning. So it's, it's a great fun way to learn new things. I learned about building Docker containers. I didn't do that before. So a lot of these kind of things kind of is, is good for the geek in me. Um, and, but also the community, you know, it's a very, very friendly community. You can hear about, you know, online communities being harsh or rude. This community is not. This yeah. is a super friendly community. Everybody's helping everyone. 
nobody's sharing their models, nobody's sharing, you know, their top secrets, but everybody's happy to share tips, right? So this is this is an interesting thing. It's it's a good place to be. Nice people learning nice new things. That's why I come back. Fantastic. Well, great to meet you. Thanks for being so patient with me over the years. It's been a ton of fun to call all of your races. Uh, sorry it didn't go your way here this year, but we wish you the best in the future. Hope to see you next year as well. Thank you. My see pleasure. You that is Duckworth, one of the top developers in the Deep Racer League year after year. Really kind of him to jump by and join us up here as we talk about what is transpiring in this round of 32. Just